Windows 11 guest OS on VMware vSphere 8 without a virtual TPM. OK, trusted platform module. And in our demo environment, we have the vSphere 7 and also the vSphere 8 and vCenter 7 and vCenter 8 and running with the shared storage with with the HP Nimble storage and the guest OS we are using Microsoft Windows 11. OK, now one of the key point here is we already know how to create a virtual machine and how to install the guest OS in vSphere environment, but only the difference is installing Windows 11 in virtual machine on vSphere 8 is almost identical to installing previous versions of Windows like Windows 8, Windows 10, and all and other service pack editions. But only the change is that Windows 11 requires a virtual trust platform module and the version is 2.0 device to be present in the virtual machine. So when creating a new virtual machine using a vSphere client, that means where we are connecting vCenter server using vSphere client and select virtual machine compatibility with ESX 8.0 and later and hardware version is 20 and we have to choose the uh, Windows operating system as Windows 11 64 bit as a guest OS. These are all the pre requirement and the only the main difference point here is when we are installing Windows 11 as per the Microsoft, we require a it require virtual TPM trusted platform module is required. What this TPM do is uh, it will enhance the security within our virtual machine guest OS and also it will reduce the impact or risk in our guest operating system. OK, for security reasons, uh, Windows 11 pre requirement is our virtual machine device must running with a TPM. So in this session, I will talk about how we can bypass the TPM and install the Windows 11. But uh, this troubleshooting steps only for the testing and development purpose. But in the production environment, we must install the Windows 11 guest OS with virtual TPM. OK, and the errors also let me show you how the, we will get the error messages. Suppose when we creating new virtual machine with guest OS Windows 11, when we select Windows and guest OS version Windows 11, it clearly says that Microsoft Windows 11 requires a virtual TPM device which cannot be added to this virtual machine because the vSphere environment is not configured with a key provider. That means when we want to configure TPM, we have to enable the key providers. Key providers means either we can use vSphere native key provider or any external key providers like KMS devices, key management server devices. So some scenarios, some organization, they may use vSphere native key providers and some may use the external key providers. So this external key providers and vSphere native key provider and TPM concept, I will cover separately in the later session. But in this session, I will just give you the troubleshooting steps, how we can bypass without a virtual trusted platform module. OK, even when we are trying to install from the guest OS also, it usual getting common error messages. This PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirement to install the Windows. So we will notice these two error messages and later on we will talk about how we can troubleshoot that issue. OK, so let's quickly log into our lab system. So I connected to one of our vCenter server and ESX server is running with ESXi 8.0 and it is running on a Synergy Blade server. If you want to create a virtual machine, you can select either data center, right click, and you can create a new virtual machine. That is one option, or you can right click the cluster, select new virtual machine, or you can select the specific ESX host, create a new virtual machine. Or if you have any existing templates also, we can use template to deploy the virtual machine. But currently there is no templates. Let me select the cluster, create a new virtual machine. So while creation of new virtual machine, you can click on next, select the first option, create a new virtual machine, click on next. And virtual machine name, you can use any of the flexible name. Let's say Windows 11. And Windows 11, I will mention as without TPM, just for our easy understanding. Now click on next. And under the cluster compatibility checks is succeeded. You can choose either single host or it will automatically pick the host. OK, just for testing purpose. I'm choosing the specific ESXi host. 
click on next and once we select we have to choose the storage as i mentioned i am choosing the storage as a nimble data store okay and click on next and select the compatibility we are using the compatibility esx 8.0 and later editions now click on next and when you select the guest operating system guest os family is windows and the guest os version we have to change the version to windows 11 and compatibility is esx 8.0 and virtual machine hardware version is 20 okay but it's clearly given the error message it says that microsoft windows 11 requires a virtual tpm device trusted platform module device which cannot be added to this device so this device is not running with a tpm device because vSphere environment is not configured with a key provider. From this error message, what we can understand is if you want to add a virtual TPM device, first we need to create a key provider. That keys must be added. That keys also we have two options. Either we can use vSphere native key provider or you can use any external KMS key provider's keys. Those must be added first. And secondly, we should add a TPM device. If you are not doing these two options, we should look for a alternate to bypassing this TPM device option. OK, even if I click next, if I click next also, this wizard is not allowing to move forward. OK, so it's stuck at this stage. So what we can do is to bypass this message. You can just select the drop down menu guest OS version and choose the OS as Windows 10. Now click on next. It will allow you to proceed to the next step and the CPU and memory. I'm just choosing the default configuration 2 and 4 GB and hard disk. If you want to modify, you can modify to any of the size. Let's say 80 GB and I want to choose the disk space as a thin disk provisioning. So change it to the disk provisioning to thin provision. OK, and the remaining options are same. And even when you try to add the any of the device, while adding the device also we can see that there is no tpm device here okay so when we do not have tpm device also how we can troubleshoot i will show you click on next and finish so create virtual machine is completed okay completed state now vm is ready but before installing guest OS, we have to download the ISO from the Microsoft website and mount the ISO file. So go to the VM edit settings. With interest of our time, I already downloaded the ISO and uploaded to data store. So let me mount the ISO file. It is under the nimble storage. I create the ISO folder and this is the Windows 11 ISO. OK, so once we mount the Windows 11 ISO, select the connected option, connected power on, click on OK. So now we are good to power on the virtual machine. Once the VM is power on, we can launch the console. It will try to boot from a operating system. Suppose if it is not booting, just reboot one more time and it will ask you to press any key to boot from the CD. OK, press the cursor inside and it will start booting from the ISO file. So whatever the error we discussed in our slide, the same error will appear now. OK, and after that I will show you how we can troubleshoot. So this troubleshooting steps I will show you in the following slide. See Windows 11 is started, so click on next and install now. So setup is starting. It is asking to activate the windows. If you have license key, we can activate or else you can select. I do not have your product key and choose. We have so many flavors of Windows 11. You can choose any of the flavor. Let's say I'm choosing the default first two option Windows 11 home. And even if you want to choose pro also, you can choose click on next. And this is the error message. PC cannot run Windows 11. So minimum requirements to install. What is the minimum requirement is we virtual machine must added with a TPM device trusted platform module device without the device. It won't install. OK, so here the troubleshooting steps are we have to press shift F10 so that it will prompt a command prompt. So let me press shift F10. When I press shift F10, 
we can see the command dot exe is appeared. So here we can type the command reg edit. That means it will open a registry editor. Once the registry editor is open, we can go to the local machine, hacky local machine and go to the system. And we can choose the setup. Under setup, we have to create a key first. Key means it will create a folder. So let me select new key. When I select the new key, it will create a for we can create the folder name called lab config. So when I select the lab config key under the lab config, we have to add a D word value with 32 bit. So select the D word value and this value can be we can use the name as bypass. TPM module OK, so you can use the name as bypass TPM or bypass TPM check. OK, so default bypass TPM check value is zero, but if you want to bypass the value must be changed to the one and it should be hexadecimal kick on. OK, so this is the configuration change we have to do to bypass the TPM validation. OK, but this is only recommended for test and development and not recommended for production environment. OK, so let me close this wizard and even in the command prompt you can type exit. And this error also we can close this error and we have to restart this Windows 11 setup. OK, so that this time it will overcome the TPM error and it will proceed further. OK, so I don't have any key and select the Windows 11 Pro and you can choose any flavor, whatever the flavor you want. So now click on next, see license agreement next and custom install. See this time there is no error message. We are able to install Windows 11 normally. OK, this is the steps only I'm going to planning to show you in this lab. OK, these points let me quickly recap from our slide. So in our slide, I mentioned a message appear that PC cannot run Windows 11 because of there is no minimum require. We haven't met the minimum requirement, no TPM device. So this option we validated and second option. I as I mentioned, we press the shift plus F10 and it will appear as the command prompt. So we already noticed the command prompt is open and within the command prompt, we type the command is reg edit that is registry editor and we hit enter and we also modified hacky local machine system under setup folder we created a new key called lab config this one also we done it and after the lab config we prepared a new key to bypass tpm check the d word value 32 default value is zero we change it to one and this option also we verified and another one we close the our registry editor and we exit the command prompt and finally we initiated the windows 11 setup again OK, these are all the nine steps we perform until now. But remember that one key point here is this procedure is not recommended for production environment because we will not receive the security updates without trusted platform module device. OK, so only for test environment, we are OK to do these steps. OK, and let's go back to our lab system. See, its installation may take a while. So with interest of our time, anyhow, once the installation complete, we know how to do the further steps. OK, install the guest device VMware tools and also enable the computer, change the computer name, assign the IP address and install your project specific applications. OK, so that's it. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share and subscribe to the Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.